The amount of money that Tesla has placed into their gigapresses and their unrelenting commitment to sustaining this expenditure is simply astonishing. This begs the question, does using these massive machines provide them a major advantage over their competitors? And, if so, to what extent does it provide an advantage? Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk announced insane new plans for Tesla's new gigapress today. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Given Tesla's history of performing huge accomplishments, seeing such massive machinery in their factories is hardly unexpected. These devices are massive in size, dwarfing even the largest residential apartments. Gigapresses, in particular, are die-casting machines among the most powerful ever produced. According to rumors, many orders have yet to be completed, demonstrating the company's reliance on this powerful equipment. Interestingly, the machine was given the name Gigapress, which is widely linked with Tesla's Gigafactory by its Italian maker, Hydra. Tesla has invested heavily in these massive devices, and it still does now. However, the question remains whether these gigantic machines provide a competitive advantage. And, if so, how much? Given Tesla's penchant for pursuing massive projects, finding these massive giga presses in its factories is predictable. The size of these devices is mind-boggling, towering over the average apartment. For as long as anybody can remember, the traditional automobile industry has relied on bolting and welding numerous components to construct car frames. If Tesla had followed suit, the Gigapress would have worked like any die-casting machine. The plunger mechanism forces hot molten metal into a reusable mold, resulting in a jaw-dropping manufacturing process. The Gigapress functions on a grand scale, and we can compare it to a plastic toy automobile to get a sense of its size. Typically, these toys are manufactured from a single piece before connecting the tires. Still, the Gigapress takes it further by manufacturing a full car chassis in metal rather than plastic. Tesla chose to employ a combination of aluminum and silicone to make an alloy for the chassis. Therefore, the furnace melts the metal exterior to the Megapress. The alloy melts at around 850 degrees Celsius, and once liquefied, the plunger mechanism is used to force the appropriate amount of molten metal into the mold. After the mold has cooled to 400 degrees Celsius, it is opened, and a robot moves the chassis into a pool of water to aid in the cooling process. Finally, the chassis is inspected for flaws, and rough edges are cut. Robots are used to drill all necessary holes in the finished chassis. It's no secret that constructing a Gigapress takes a huge commitment in both money and space, so why did Tesla decide to commit to them? The solution is straightforward. Megapress is transforming the automotive sector. Their primary advantage is speed. Despite their massive size, they work at breakneck speed. According to Idris specs, the aluminum silicon alloy can be transformed from molten metal to a fully formed chassis in less than 100 seconds. This is an extremely quick rate, especially given the labor-intensive stages needed to produce and join more than 100 pieces. This means that Tesla can build more vehicles than its competitors. J.P.U. Morgan was amazed after seeing a gigaprice in action. They ran some fast calculations based on a 4-5 minute cycle time. They calculated that a single facility with 10 gigapresses operating in continuous shifts could produce 350,000 Model Y chassis in one year. This is due to the Model Y chassis requirement for two gigapresses. This figure rises when the gigapresses run closer to the manufacturer's requirements. The big presses at the Fremont facility completed the operation in less than 200 seconds. While still being refined, a new facility could manufacture 100,000 units in its first year. These are stunning figures that are virtually unheard of in the auto industry. It's worth mentioning that Tesla's goal for this year is 750,000 vehicles, with a 50% increase the next year. Tesla has amassed a formidable weaponry to create over a million vehicles. The Gigapress is one of these weapons, working relentlessly in Fremont, Austin, Shanghai, and Berlin to make the unimaginable a reality. Apart from being a game changer in the auto business, Gigapresses has various benefits, including cost savings, which Elon Musk is obsessed with. 
Despite the hefty initial investment, the production cost per vehicle falls significantly since gigapresses eliminate numerous operational expenditures. In the case of the Model 3, Musk claims that production has a substantially lower environmental impact. I'm talking about a 30% reduction in the size of the body shop. Although it may appear paradoxical, having fewer robots and a smaller manufacturing environment can result in a lower maintenance expenditure. While it is true that people may lose their jobs due to this, using eco-presses makes a lot of economic sense. Consider the complicated logistics of producing over 100 parts in multiple places, checking quality control, and delivering them to the assembly factory. On the other hand, Tesla can avoid all of these logistical challenges by utilizing its army of gigapresses. Using gigapresses can lower the cost of manufacturing a chassis by nearly 40%. This considerable cost reduction takes Elon Musk closer to delivering a more affordable electric vehicle. Tesla is already establishing research and production facilities in China to build a more inexpensive automobile. Gigapresses, of course, will be among the first pieces of equipment to be placed at these new facilities. The cars benefit from a single-piece chassis, a big advantage of gigapresses. Weak joints and misaligned parts are common causes of manufacturing faults when parts are welded or bolted together. The gigapress, on the other hand, offers an excellent and structurally robust result. Furthermore, Tesla's gigapresses make lighter vehicles. This implies it can travel further on a single charge of the battery. Thanks to gigapresses, Tesla has developed a faster and more cost-effective way to create better automobiles than its competitors. As a result, Tesla has continued to place gigapress orders with Hydra, and the company intends to use gigapresses in new products such as the Cybertruck and Semi-Truck. While additional power will be necessary to cast the steel structure of the Cybertruck, Elon Musk has already announced that the pickup truck's rear body cast will require an 8,000-ton casting press. We will use a larger casting machine for Cybertruck's rear body. As a result, we'll be employing an 8,000-ton casting press. It's worth mentioning that IDEA has made an interesting announcement about their recent acquisition. According to IDRA's general manager, Ricardo Ferrario, we have secured the first order for an 8,000-ton die-casting machine. The identity of the client who ordered a gigapress from IDRA remains unknown, albeit a statement made by the corporation provided some suggestions. It was stated that the machine would be employed by a big worldwide company to produce new energy vehicles, pointing straight at Tesla. Furthermore, sources have informed industry expert Sandy Mundro that Tesla intends to use a remarkable 11 gigapresses across its four operations. This is a significant increase in their manufacturing capacity, and the new Berlin plant, which is expected to open later this year, will house at least one gigapress. At the Fremont and Shanghai factories, one gigapress is already in operation. While Tesla is not the first car maker to use castings in their manufacturing processes, its usage of gigapresses on this scale is unparalleled. Other automakers, including Cadillac, BMW, and Audi, have previously used castings in their models. Nonetheless, it has yet to attempt it at the megascale level that Tesla is currently working at. The question is how the rest of the industry will react and whether they will attempt to match Tesla's ingenuity. However, the car industry is not known for readily accepting change, and it may take some time for other manufacturers to catch up to Tesla's speed. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.